phenomenon that has been plaguing many nations, particularly mine. The inadvertent loss of hope where our lives no longer seem to shine. Its root burrows deeper than an illness of the mind. We've lost connection with the divine. We've become entwined in lies, hurt, and a loss of self-worth. Thoughts of a premature end where the enemy becomes our friend because we've had enough. And yes, I know sometimes it gets rough, it's tough. Stuck between a rock and hardship where emptiness seems to be your only kinship and everyone knows your name but are blind to your pain. They never hear the sirens of your audible silence so you suffer alone. Your only megaphone becomes a rope, gun, knife, poison pill. You're ready for the kill cause you want to be heard but you're being consumed by the darkness that floods your empty spaces, happy faces, numb core, broken promises once more. If only, if only one person would understand, if only one person would hold your hand, maybe then, just then, you would be assured that someone cares, maybe just then, you would be relieved of your fears, maybe just then, you would be able to wipe away your tears. Yet you welcome excuses. Relationships suspended by strings about to snap. You sit and think, but only the negative times you can recap. Marriage threatened, divorce pending, orientation crisis, soul searching. You've lost your job, bills paid late, can't seem to get anything right. It's all testing your faith. Your Filled with fury, nothing's clear. It's all blurry. Your life's a tornado. The cycles never seem to end. You feel like you have no other choice. You no longer want to pretend. But wait. There is a solution that I recommend. He's my friend. The one who always comprehends never condescends to all your troubles he will attend your broken heart he'll surely mend he intercedes for you it's you that he'll always defend it's on him that you can always depend it's not your end cause see you may be shattered but you're not broken it's just a bend his name is Jesus His plans for you are for good and not for disaster. To give you hope, to give you a future. He said, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. So cast your burdens on him. Give your faith a test. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Yes, you will soar high on wings like eagles. You will run and not grow weary. You will walk and not faint and no it doesn't call for you to be a saint neither does it put you in constraint believe me in Christ there is liberty his word is your constitution and your life should be a manifestation he created you in his image and likeness born to be a witness you are salt you are light you have authority to put the enemy to flight. You are not a slave to sin, but you're a friend of the king, so you always win. He takes care of you and will supply all your needs. He gives you more than you could ever think, ask, or imagine. He always exceeds. 
you are his workmanship, his child, a priesthood. Let this be understood. You are who he says you are. Men, you are strong. You are mighty. Stand up and walk into your destiny. Being the head is a part of your mandate, but this doesn't mean you must dictate. Be humble. Submit yourself to his lordship. Live according to the script. Ladies, your beauty is not defined by an opinion. You are a limited edition, unique, sleek, valuable, antique. Know your worth. You gave birth to the earth. You two are strong. You two are mighty. Keep your esteem and head high. Walk uprightly. Listen, do not be swayed if your life seems likened to quicksand. For there is a solid rock on which you can stand. And when everyone else fails, he's still be holding your hand. Because you're here for a reason. So consider this a season. The world would never be the same if you decide to out your flame. We need you and not your face in a frame. It's a shame that you truly believe it's your only option, but I'm here to tell you that Christ is your solution. I break the yoke of depression, oppression, frustration, manipulation, confusion, deception, the feeling of unappreciation, and I declare that no weapon formed against you will prosper your mind is renewed and your life is in the hands of the master it is by his word that you will abide and I declare that we will not lose you or you or you or you to the spirit of suicide share this message let it be heard worldwide